It's a celebration that that uh, celebration of all that makes the top end great, I should say. And this year, Territory Day festivities were bigger than ever. 10,000 people took to the sand at Mendel Beach for a show only Darwin could provide. Celebrating Territory Day our way. With the picture-perfect city as a backdrop, thousands packed the white sands of Mindel Beach for an unprecedented party. Darwin dry season at its finest, it was the perfect setting for the first Territory Day concert. The crowd arrived early, keen to celebrate all that's great about living up north. Oh, people are friendly, we have this beautiful climate and yeah, I don't know, it's just a great place to be, great place to raise children. Darwin's beautiful, I really love it here. The weather, definitely the weather. Uh, lifestyle, people, everyone's really friendly, it's just really awesome. Territory flags flew proud as the Darwin sun set, the concert belting into the night as the best in Territory talent lit up the stage. One performer in particular, a crowd favourite. Do you guys like Jess Melbourne? Oh my gosh, yes. Yes. Yeah, she's my favourite singer. And our girl Jess didn't disappoint. As the singer's set came to a close, the party was just getting started. And this is what everyone's been waiting for. Absolute excitement, absolute explosions and absolute entertainment. 5,000 kilograms of fireworks lighting up the Darwin skyline. Twenty thousand shots and hundreds of thousands of dollars went into the twenty-minute display that left the crowd in awe. That was definitely one of the best fireworks I've seen in my entire life. It was wonderful. It was actually probably the best I've seen in many, many years. Absolutely beautiful. It was amazing. The the end of the show was amazing. There's no doubt that this Territory Day was the biggest one yet. Amy Colpert, Nine News. From a fireworks spectacular to personal pyrotechnic shows, Territory Day was a blast for the thousands of people who set off their own crackers. Thankfully, there were no serious injuries, but 12 people, including a five-year-old girl, were treated in hospital for burns. It legally began as the clock ticked over six. Tens of thousands of Territorians letting loose, firing off their fireworks. Included in that group of fireworks fanatics are these Adelaide boys. They spent $1,200 on 80 kilos of explosives. Are you going to be able to get through 80 kilos by 11pm? I think we're on track. We're, we're on track. definitely on track. Yeah, 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 yeah. we're doing well. <laughs> we're trying to beat the official firework displays at Mindel. Yep. While for others, just one or two special crackers will do the trick. There's Angry Mario, followed by Angrier Mario. Ooh, and Angriest Yet Mario. There's no doubt that Territory Day is of huge historical significance, but it's getting to light up the night that Territorians love the most about this very special day. But the fun does come with some risks, especially when you do things like this and this. Or your friends make you their target. The fireworks frenzy a little too much for some. It's a bit bonkers actually. I'm not a big fan of Territory Day. It's like Beirut, um, especially for a visitor. It's pretty full on. but. Uh... That's no, good. Good to see everyone out there enjoying themselves. The craziness caused mayhem at this Karama house. A cracker shot through a window, shattering their shower screen. The personal pyrotechnics also causing havoc outside. Firefighters responding to 195 blazes throughout the night. The worst at Kajarina and Lianya. There were dozens more at Palmerston, including this one at Farrah, which got a little too close to homes. Crews remaining on the job until 4 o'clock this morning. Today, the near miss was clear to see. 
given today's conditions, we just had to get on top of it. So therefore, our, due to the work of our volunteers and our career staff, we're able to uh, uh, dampen that down. Despite the mayhem, just 18 people have presented to hospital. Five of those have serious burns. Among those injured are a five-year-old girl with a burn on her back and an 18-year-old woman who suffered an eye injury when a cracker blew up in her face. And after all the action comes the mess. Early this morning, thousands of used fireworks were left scattered across the top end. I feel very sad because Darwin is a very nice city with nice people. And if you see the mess, we hope it doesn't happen again. 100 staff from Darwin Council spent six hours restoring the city. It's council's biggest clean-up operation with more than eight tonnes of rubbish collected, while 28 kilos of unused crackers have been handed in to WorkSafe. Elizabeth Creasy, Nine News. And if you haven't handed in your unfired crackers to WorkSafe NT, by now you're risking a $1,200 fine and you'll be fined another $1,200 if you're caught letting them off. But WorkSafe will continue to accept unused fireworks, so now is the time to hand them in.